It'll be McWhorter tipping off against Myers, and it's up, and it is Griggsville Perry controlling the tip. Pass on the right wing to Whitaker. Bounce pass left wing to Myers. Driving the lane, Kayla Bradshaw. Man-to-man defense right now from Greenfield. Quick pass down low. The left-handed layup is no good from Whitaker. Put back is good. That's Kayla Bradshaw. And it's Greg Bill Perry striking first, 2 to nothing, with 7.30 left in the first quarter. Quickly driving down the court is Masters, and he will have it deflected out of bounds. It'll stay Greenfield basketball. He's going to see a lot of different defenders tonight. They will mix it up. He'll see every single Bradshaw at one time on him. Bounce pass right wing to Plogger. He'll dribble back up top. Cross over to the right side. Get the screen up top. They'll dribble around it left wing from the baseline. They'll pass it back up top to Shade. Back over on the left wing. It's Plogger trying to drive good defense. A lob down low to Shade. Foul on the ground. I think they're going to tag Caleb Bradshaw for that one. Yeah, first foul on Caleb Bradshaw. He's got to stay out of foul trouble. Quick pass on the outside to Plogger. He goes back up top. Coffee pass right wing. Isaac Masters gets a screen up top. He'll drive the lane all the way to the rack. Tough jumper up off the backboard. No good. Tipped around. It is rebounded down low by McWhorter. Still Greenfield ball wide open. Coffey wants a three, and he got it. Yeah, he had double figures last game out. He had 10. That's his first triple of the game. He's their sharpshooter. He loves to hang around the three-point line. Driving the lane is Caleb Bradshaw. He dishes back up top. Whitaker, nice pass down low. A foul. That's Myers going up with the layup. He will shoot two from the line. Matt, great ball movement there from Griggsville Perry to get it down the post. Yeah, over rotation that time by Greenfield. Went for the steal, didn't get it, and then it's a three-on-one. Beautiful pass underneath. Leads to the first foul of the game against McCorder. You're going to see that a lot today from Greenfield, taking those risky moves. First free throw off the front of the rim. No good. Sometimes it pays off. Sometimes it doesn't. Greenfield coming in with a lot of speed. Yeah, they're going to full-court press and try to force the action. Second free throw up. It is good, and we are tied 3-3. Three to three. Grizzle Perry will come out with a full court press. Isaac Master blows right by that. He'll go all the way down the lane, up with a five-footer. It is good. He's tough. It took him just about five seconds to get all the way down the court. And it's back to a 5-3 to three lead for Greenfield. 6.20 left in the first quarter. Whitaker trying to cross half court. It's close. He just gets it across. Hayden Bradshaw, handoff right wing to Myers. Drives the lane, kicked in the corner. Three up from Caleb Bradshaw. Off the side of the rim, no good. The big six foot three shade coming down with the rebound for Greenfield. Greenfield looking to push. Masters drives. We're going to have a hand check on Hayden Bradshaw. We've been uh, emphasizing this a lot in this season so far, Matt. They're going to really start calling that hand check call on defenders. Yeah, as soon as they see the open Paul make contact, it's an automatic foul. First foul of the game against Bradshaw. Second team foul against Griggsville Perry. Up top, they get us a coffee. He wants another three. Off the rim, rolls around and got the bounce. It's good. Coffee with six. 8-3 to three is the lead early on for Greenfield. They'll break the full court pressure with Whitaker. He'll pass right wing, almost threw it away to Caleb Bradshaw. Into the left corner to Hayden Bradshaw. They'll go post to Whitaker, back outside. Taking their time, they get it up top to King. King's their leading scorer. He'll pass in the corner, get it to Whitaker. Back up top, three-pointer, Hayden Bradshaw. He got it. Yeah, that's too much room. Hayden was wide open. That's his first triple of the game. Masters wants to push. He goes up with a floater off the back of the rim. No good. Plogger gets it. He'll throw it back up. That's no good. Rebound, Griggsville, Perry, and Myers. He's looking to push. They don't have numbers. He'll have to get rid of it. He will. He'll get it to King. King picks up his dribble. He's got to get it off, and he will. 5.05 5.05 left in the first quarter. Two-point lead for Greenfield. Bounce pass right wing. Dangerous pass. Plogger gets a hand on it. Comes up with a seal. Saves the back in bounds, but it goes to Griggsville Perry. Myers gets the bucket. No, they're going to call a foul on the ground. They'll tag Shade with the foul. King's got it right wing wide open. Caleb Bradshaw wants the three, and he got it for the lead. That's 9-8. to eight. Griggsville Perry is on a six-point run. Masters will cross that court. He goes all the way into the lane. It's tipped from behind. It's going to go out of bounds. They'll say it touched Masters last. That's the first turnover of the ball game for Greenfield. That time just going a little too fast. Greenfield likes to play up tempo, but you got to stay under control if you're Masters. Here comes that full court press from Greenfield. Whitaker will cross half court. Nine to eight is the lead for Griggsville Perry here in semifinal action. Dangerous pass right wing to King. They'll go down low. It's tipped out of bounds. First turnover of the game for Griggsville Perry. Limbound to Masters. He's the point guard on this team. He's double teamed. He splits it. He's going to take it all the way down to the free throw line. Pulls up. Jumper off the rim. Rolls around. No good. 
Rebound Whitaker. They're looking to push. Two on one break. Up with the layup is Hayden Bradshaw. He can't connect. Rebound down low by Myers. He throws up a shot. It's fouled from behind. And if that's on Shea, that's his second. And it is. Yeah, he's the size they have. That time, Shea just wasn't quick enough to get back off his feet. Myers, good job of pursuing the basketball in the miss. Second foul against Shade, third team foul against Greenfield. We called the Greenfield game the other day, Matt. Shade was out of the game with a sickness. He's back in the game today, but he's going to take a seat. And coming into the game will be Jennings. Mark Jennings, a guard at five foot nine, another senior on this team. Averages about three points a game. Ten to eight is your score. Grigsville Perry with a two-point lead, 4.03 left in the first quarter. I'm Ryan Turk, joined by Matt Norville. Second free throw up, it is good. Biggest lead of the ball game for Gregsville Perry, 11-8. to eight. Up top with Plogger, he wants a screen from Jennings, he'll get it, drives all the way to the rack, off the glass, no good. Jennings gets the rebound, kicks it up top. Coffee wants his third three of the game, no, it's no good. Weak side rebound by Caleb Bradshaw. He'll slow it up. Crossover right side, flips over to Hayden Bradshaw. Triple to his right. Graceville Perry not doing any fancy with their offense. They're just running simple plays. Trying to get good ball moving in. Weak side pass to King. Floater and a beautiful shot from the baseline. Another bucket for Graceville Perry. 13 to 8 is your score. Greenfield's got numbers. Blogger spots up. 15 footer, nothing but net. Well, Greenfield only shooting 40% from the field. We talked about they got to shoot higher than that tonight. Quickly down the court, Hayden Bradshaw out of control. Turnover, second of the ball game for Gregsville Perry. Chance to tie it with a three for Greenfield. No, they're going to wave it off. Foul on the ground. That should be on Hayden Bradshaw. That'll be his second personal, and he's the one young man guarding Masters, so he's got two fouls, third team foul. I said Masters is going to see several defenders. You don't want to see Hayden Bradshaw get in foul trouble, though. Now they're going to switch another Bradshaw on him. Riley Bradshaw comes in, averaging 7.5 a, a game. He's a guard at 6 foot. They'll throw down low in the post. McWhorter is going to travel. He switched his pivot foot. He caught it. He established his left pivot as a pivot foot. Then he switched it to his right, and the official all over it. Second turnover against Greenfield. 13-10 to 10 is the lead for Griggsville Perry. This one's been close throughout. Three minutes left in the first. Four fouls for Greenfield, three for Griggsville Perry. Driving is Whitaker. He'll go in the corner. Three-pointer up from Riley Bradshaw. Off the back of the rim, no good. Tough rebound down low by Caleb Bradshaw. His shot is blocked. It's saved by Griggsville Perry, but it'll be thrown out of bounds. That's Whitaker going after it. As that will be Greenfield ball. I'll tell you what, they've got to start boxing out both ways. That's the third offensive rebound for Griggsville Perry. Three offensive rebounds for Greenfield. Inbound it to Masters, so throw it to Plogger. Quick fast break. McWhorter is going to drive the lane up with the layups and a charge. Hey, we'll call a charge. That's his second, Ryan. So you're losing size galore if you're Greenfield. Griggsville Perry comes in with some decent size, but that's the second foul in the quarter. Fifth team foul, and that's now the third turnover here in the first quarter against Greenfield. Yeah, Coach Prembrook looking right down his bench. Sam Cross is going to come into the game. Five foot eight senior. So early bench player is coming in for Greenfield. Still inbound to Riley Bradshaw. He breaks the double team. Looking to go all the way. Up with a tough shot. Is going to be fouled. They'll call it on the ground. That's Plogger. That's his first six-team foul. And I think with the new rules, it's going to really show the depth of a team because there are going to be a lot of teams that have key players in foul trouble throughout the season. Up top with Whitaker. 13 to 10, still your score. Griggsville Perry with the lead in the first quarter. Pass into the post. Nice move, and it's Myers. Foul on the ground again. And if it's Plogger, that's his second. Oh, my goodness. Fouls are becoming an issue in the first quarter. And that's a one and one situation with 2.19 left here in the first. Griggsville Perry is shooting free throws for the rest of the half. That'll bring in Austin Bishop. He is a 5'11 guard, a sophomore, averaging under two points a game. You said it, Matt. Death is going to be an issue for Greenfield for the rest of this ballgame. It's going to be an issue for both teams for the entire season, really. One and one. First one is up and good from Myers. I love how we're saying new rules, but really, technically, it's been the rule of games. The game of basketball it's just gotten more physical over the years. Myers now with four. Second one up. It is good. 15 to 10 is your score. Coming out with a full court pressure. It's Masters. 
He's driving the lane, up in traffic, tough shot off the front of the rim, gets his own rebound, it's tipped away. He gets it back, he'll spot up for a quick three, and it rattles down good. Masters is going to have to take care of a lot of the offense now with so many reserves in the game for Greenfield. 15-13, to 13, now your score, Grigsville Perry with a two-point lead. Under two minutes left in the first. I figured we'd see this. Greenfield showing 2-3 zone just because people are in foul trouble and they're undersized now in the post. They don't want fouls to start racking up for more players. They'll go down low in the post to Myers. He turns up top. Quick ball movement from Grigsville Perry. They'll throw a left wing to King. Back up top to Bradshaw. He'll go post. Myers up. Off the glass. Rattles in and out. No good. Gets his own rebound off the glass. Again can't get it to go. That's rebounded by Bishop. He is fouled. And they're going to call that on Myers. That's his second personal fourth team foul. And Grigsville Perry will make a substitution. Coming in is Hayden Bradshaw again. Although officially I have that as his first personal. But the board says it's his second, so you got to go with the book. Cross will take it across half court. It'll look right wing. Bounce pass. Masters spotting up. He wants another three. He made some contact with the defender. No call on the air ball. Rebounded by Myers. He'll slow it up, and he travels. Third turnover of the ball game for Grigsville Perry. We've got a lot of energy in the gym here. Both teams playing just a tad too fast for their liking. Greenfield likes to go fast. Grigsville Perry likes to play a little slower, but both teams going just a tad too fast. And that's why we've seen a few turnovers. Substitution coming in for Grigsville Perry. Jordan DeHart will check in. He is averaging over eight points a game, a 5'10 guard. They'll go into the corner to Bishop. He'll hand off to Masters. Fires another three. That's short off the front of the rim. Rebound. Jennings. Power dribble. Up with the shot. Blocked away by Myers. Myers is playing great down low for Grigsville Perry defensively. He picks up his dribble. they got to get it across half court. And will they get it across in time? Just barely. Myers has it on the three-point line. Pass. Right wing. King wants a three. Drains it. And Grigsville Perry really turning it on at the end of this first quarter. They have a five-point lead, 18-13. to 13. Well, they're doing it from the three-point line, three of five from downtown. Cross will dribble into the post, and they'll call a charge. Looks like he extended his left arm when he drove in. It's the second offensive foul charge to Greenfield already in this first quarter. Cross first personal eighth team foul now against Greenfield, but no shooting on that one because it was an offensive foul. Whitaker will check in for Riley Bradshaw. 31 seconds left in the first quarter. Could be the last possession for Grigsville Perry. Coach Todd Bradshaw holding up one finger. You got to think they want to end the quarter on a strong note. They'll go right ring to DeHart. They'll dribble over. Pass over to Hayden Bradshaw. 18 seconds left. They'll drive right wing guarded by Masters. Pass back up top to Whitaker. Left wing they get it to DeHart. 10 seconds. Whitaker's got it up top. You got to make a move soon. Bounce pass right wing. Myers, six seconds. He'll drive and is pushed. And that'll be a foul and free throws. Already up to nine fouls in the first quarter, Matt. And that's a big foul called. That's the first on Masters. Masters cannot get in foul trouble at all. He's their ball handler. He's their leading scorer. He's the number one player they need on the court right now, especially with already a couple players on the bench for foul trouble. So it'll be a one and one on the line for Myers. He's seen the free throw line a couple times today. First one up, and it rattles down. It's good. Yeah, he's six for seven from the line. He's got six points. 19 to 13 is the score. 4.6 seconds left in the first quarter. Second free throw up, and it's good. Substitution. Caleb Bradshaw will come back into the ballgame. He will come in for Myers. See if Greenfield can put in one more bucket. 20-13 to 13 the score. They'll get it to Bishop. He's got to go fast. Three seconds. Crosses half court, and he will fire up a runner off the backboard. And no good. 20-13 to 13 is your score. Gregsville Perry leading early. After one quarter of play, it's Gregsville Perry leading by 7, 20-13. In that first quarter, Gregsville Perry shot 42% from the field, but it was a three-point shooting. They were 3 of 5 from downtown. Greenfield 31% from the field. Turned the ball over five times. Leading scorer, Myers for Grigsville Perry with seven. Masters with a quick pass from Plogger. Hits another three. Masters, the leading scorer tonight for Greenfield. 20-16, to 16, your score, Grigsville Perry with the lead. Lobbed in the right wing into the corner now. Three-pointer up for DeHart, and that is no good as it goes off the rim and over the back of the backboard. 
as we just start the second quarter of play. Foul trouble has been the issue for Greenfield. They'll go outlet quick down low to Coffey. He misses the layup. Tips in, rebounded by King for Griggsville Perry. They get it up top to Hayden Bradshaw. He'll pass right wing to DeHart. Back up top to Hayden Bradshaw. Whitaker's got it left wing. Griggsville Perry in no rush right now. They'll go on left wing. King, wide open. Jumper, air ball, no good. Rebounded by Coffey. Greenfield looking to run. They'll throw a right wing to Plogger. He'll spot up. Mid-range jumper. That's no good. Rebound King. See if they start to push it. No, they do. They go to DeHart. Into the corner now to Hayden Bradshaw. Back up top to DeHart. He'll drive. Three dribbles in the corner. Head fake and a travel. Hayden Bradshaw tried to drive the baseline. That's four turnovers in the first half. Yeah, most common travel in basketball. That head fake. Don't put the ball down before you move the pivot foot. So Greenfield surviving, even though about half their starting lineup sat the bench for pretty much half the first quarter. They just trail by four. Into the corner to Bishop. Coffee open. He wants another three. Short off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Whitaker. He's doubled. He'll pass out of pressure. Gets it to King. Spots up. He wanted a three. Instead, he'll pass it over to Hayden Bradshaw. Lobbed up top. Left wing. Whitaker wide open. Another three. And that rattles down. Great ball movement so far from Griggsville Perry. They've hit their fair share of three-pointers. 23-16 to 16 is their lead. In the corner, deep two for Coffey. He hits it. Greenfield answers right back. Coffey has eight. This is the pace Greenfield wants to play, though. Griggsville Perry does not want to play this fast. 23-18 to 18 is the lead for Griggsville Perry. Whitaker left wing, back up top to DeHart. Wide open in the corner. Bradshaw wanted the three, but instead he'll pass it over to Whitaker again. Left wing to DeHart, right wing, they get it to Caleb Bradshaw, crossover, drives the lane, back up top. Three-pointer, corner, Whitaker, he hits it again. Another three for Whitaker, 26-18 the lead. Under six minutes left in the second quarter. Masters is doubled. They'll cross over to the left side and set up the offense. Right wing, they go to Bishop. Posting up down low, Jennings, they can't get him the ball. They'll swing it left wing to Masters. Plogger sets the screen. Pick and roll, he was open, but they didn't find him. And it traveled by Coffey. Yeah, he walks into his shot that time, and that's something he cannot do, and that'll be the sixth turnover against Greenfield. Timeout taken by Greenfield, and we'll take a 30-second break, and we'll come back. We are in the second quarter, 26-18, your score. Griswold Perry with the lead. 26-18 is the score with 5.24 left here in the second quarter. It's Griggsville Perry leading by eight, and they've done it from downtown. Knocked down five of eight threes here in the first half. That's really the difference. Greenfield trying to hang on. Masters with eight and Coffee with eight. Yeah, coffee has been big with his threes so far in this game. Uh, once they get their starters back in the game, it could be a completely different ball game, but you talk about three-pointers, Griggsville Perry... Their great ball movement has been key to getting them open three-pointers to beat this 2-3 zone of Greenfield. Whitaker will take it across half court. He will pass right wing to Hayden Bradshaw. Wide open to Hart. He'll pass left wing. Whitaker, open three. Up. He hits it again. Yeah, he's just wide open. It's shooting practice. His third triple here in the first. In the zone completely. 29-18 to 18 is the lead for Griesel Perry. Plogger falls over in the corner. He'll get it down low. Jennings up with a layup and good. They keyed over in the corner and tried to double-team him. Jennings is wide open down low. Right place at the right time. 29-20 to 20 is your score. Gregsville Perry leading. 440 left in the second quarter. Whitaker bounce pass right wing to DeHart. DeHart wants to lob it in the corner again. Caleb Bradshaw trying to drive. They haven't been able to get much penetration so far in this 2-3 zone. They've been able to shoot over it, though. Top of the key, wide open three. Caleb Bradshaw, and he hits it. Another three for Griggsville Perry, 32 to 20 lead. It's top of the key with Greenfield. They got it to Plogger. He gets a screen. They'll roll down low off Jennings' knee, and it's a turnover. Driving on the right wing to Hart. He'll go all the way to the rack, up off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Plogger for Greenfield. They'll look to push with Masters' right wing. He's got a one-on-one. He's got a crossover. Gets a screen. Pull-up jumper from the free throw line. Drills it. That's a good decision there by Masters in double figures with 10. Instead of settling for the three, pulled up at the right elbow and an easy jump shot. Masters averaging 20 a game this season. 32-22. 10-point lead for Griggsville Perry. 
Right wing with Whitaker. He's had the hot hand this quarter. Bounce pass top of the key. They get it to Hayden Bradshaw. He'll swing it left wing to King, and he'll throw it over the head of DeHart. That's the fifth turnover of the ball game for Grigsville Perry. Yeah, so, Greenfield, by the way, shifted out of that 2-3 zone into a man. They had to. Greenfield just shot him out of that zone. They are trying to protect a couple of players with those two fouls, but they got to play man now. For Grigsville Perry, Riley Bradshaw comes into the ball game. Shade comes back in for Greenfield after a long rest of the bench. He has two fouls. Quick foul picked up by Grooseville Perry. That's Caleb Bradshaw. They get him with a hand check. That should be his second personal. Fifth team foul against Grigsville Perry, and it is. Greenfield has done a good job this quarter not committing fouls as they have zero so far in the quarter. DeHart will come into the ball game after a quick breather. 3.23 left in the second quarter. 32-22, still the lead for Grigsville Perry. Left wing with Plogger, and we've got an offensive foul. They're going to give that to Bishop, his first personal, and that's a 10th team foul and another turnover. That's the eighth against Greenfield. That's a third offensive foul. Whitaker up top. He'll pass right wing as he gets it to Riley Bradshaw. Back up top to DeHart. Spots up. Goes in the corner. Whitaker, another three. Can he hit it? No, off the back of the rim, but gets his own rebound. He'll set the offense back up. Nice pass down low, but it's tipped from behind by Shade. Turnover. Masters comes up with it. Reach in, and that one's going to be called on the ground. Masters is upset. He wanted it in the air. I'll be honest. If you were coming to the North Green Tournament to watch two outstanding guards, you've got Masters for Greenfield and Vincent for North Green. You could get your money's worth. Both of them can definitely fill it up on the offensive end. Pass corner, they get it to Masters. He tries to go baseline, and that's going to be another foul, a reach in. As they're going to call that one on Hayden Bradshaw. One and one now, as that's the seventh team foul. So Grigsville Perry picking up three pretty quick fouls in under a minute. That gives Greenfield a chance to go to the free throw line. First free throw up, it's no good. Tipped by Shade, and it's rebounded by Grigsville Perry. That's King getting it. They look to push. Whitaker, right wing. He'll slow it down now. Gets it to Bradshaw. Into the corner to Riley Bradshaw. And we've got a foul from behind. That's Shade. And if it is, that's his third foul. It is Shade. And it is his third foul. Just out of sync tonight, Shade. Hasn't played much. He, we mentioned he was sick. He picked up those two early fouls. That's going to be a foul every level of basketball you play. When the post player has you on your backside and you reach over the top, that's an easy call for the official. Looks like McWhorter is about ready to check back in for Greenfield. First free throw is up and off the front of the rim. No good. McWhorter will come in for Grigsville Perry. It's Kayla Bradshaw coming in. Getting arrested. Hayden Bradshaw. On the free throw line is King. Missed the first one. Up with the second one, and he gets that one to go. An 11-point lead now for Grigsville Perry. Greenfield coming into this game. They're the number two seed. It's tipped from behind. It's stolen. That's stolen by Riley Bradshaw. Up with a nice pass, and the layup is good. And that's still hard coming up with a layup and a good dish from Whitaker. 35-22 to 22 now your score. Grigsville Perry with the lead. 2.30 left in the second quarter. Up top with Plogger. And they show a box in one, Ryan, for the first time tonight. Left wing. As they get it right back to Plogger, he drives baseline up with a tough shot, blocked, and they're going to call a foul. They're going to say King got him with the body because he definitely didn't get him up top. Looks like all ball there. So two shots on the line for Plogger. First foul, by the way, against King. Eighth team foul against Grigsville Perry. First free throw up, gets it to go. Now, the other day, Greenfield, when we called the game on Tuesday, they struggled from the free throw line, so we'll see if they've worked on that in practice and corrected that. Second free throw up. You got it. 35-24 to 24 is the lead for Grigsville Perry. Just over two minutes left in the second quarter. So Hart has it left wing. Back up top. They get it to King. He looks to pass off, and he will to Riley Bradshaw. Takes a couple dribbles. Crossover. Gets into the lane. Now back in the corner to Hart. I haven't seen much penetration on the drive today from Grigsville Perry. Lobbing it down low. Stolen away by McWhorter. Good job jumping the pass there. He gets it to Masters. Masters drives to the free throw line. Quick jumper up Plogger. No good. Rebound King. He's doing a great job on the glass tonight. Riley Bradshaw crosses half court. 
He gets it to Hayden Bradshaw. Left wing, spotting up, three-pointer. King, he got it. They're just red hot from the three-point line. That's his second three. He's got nine. When you're feeling it, you're feeling it. This has been their quarter. Quick pass in the corner. Coffee, three to answer back. He got it. He's got three three three-pointers in the ballgame. He's got 11. 38-27, to still the lead for Gregsville Perry. 105 left in the second quarter. Ton of offense here in the second quarter. Eight threes out of 12 attempts for Griggsville Perry. Greenfield has knocked down five out of 10. So both teams shooting well beyond the three-point line. And really all of them have been wide open looks. Not too many contested threes. Driving Riley Bradshaw. He'll go left wing to DeHart. Back in the corner to Riley Bradshaw. Good pass down low. Gets it to Caleb Bradshaw. Wide open three. DeHart no good off the back of the rim. Gets his own rebound. Can't get the layup to go. It's tipped down low by Riley Bradshaw. He'll knock it out of bounds. And it'll be Greenfield ball. But yet again... The hustle from Griggsville Perry tonight, Matt, has been huge, especially on the offensive board. Yeah, that's that sixth offensive rebound. The heart does what they teach you in basketball. It's basketball one-on-one. When you take a shot, follow your shot. He followed the miss, just couldn't get it to go. Skyler Miller will check into the game for Griggsville Perry. He is a five foot six guard, a junior averaging two points a game. Plogger will pass left wing to Coffey in the corner to Masters. He's doubled. He'll flip it right wing, wide open. Plogger, he's got a one-on-one now. Good look down low. Get to the McWhorter. Can't cash in on the layup. He'll go up the shot again. Can't get that to go. His third attempt, he's fouled from behind. And they'll call that one on King. Two shots on the line for McWhorter. Yeah, McWhorter, you got to finish that. The first one should have been good. Then the second one, definitely. And by the time he got fouled in the third one, no chance of making that. Great off the ball movement for him to get open, but yeah, like you said, Matt, you got to finish those layups. Greenfield now from the line after that miss, two of four. To answer your question, we talked about coming in because they struggled against T. Hill from the free. 38-28, their halftime score: Griggsville Perry and Greenfield. Griggsville Perry leading by 10. And Ryan here in the second half, Greenfield, you want to shoot the ball better. You've got to shoot better than 37 percent in order to win this one, but you've got to really key on blocking out Griggsville Perry when they miss and getting that rebound because Griggsville Perry has had 16 rebounds in that first half. They've really controlled the glass. Hustle boards have been huge, and they've been turning into open three-pointers for Griggsville Perry, which they have knocked down once again 8 of 13 from the three-point line so far in the ballgame. We'll switch sides now. Griggsville Perry going left to right. They'll go in the corner to Hayden Bradshaw. He lobs it down low, stolen away by McWhorter. Good start to the second half for Greenfield. They'll push it up top with Masters. Drives down the lane. Open jumper. No good. Rebound by Plogger. His shot's blocked out of bounds. Good defense by Myers. It'll say Greenfield ball. One thing I've noticed with Masters, he's really drifting on his shot. He's not really getting square to the basket and going straight up vertically. He's drifting, and that's throwing off his shot a little bit. They'll look to inbound, running out of time. They'll get it in to Jennings in the corner. Now driving Masters, slicing and dicing into the lane. Up with the layup, can't get it to go again. Kayla Bradshaw gets the rebound for Griggsville Perry. He'll cross over right side. He'll dish it over to Whitaker. He'll go down low. Nice pass up with the layup. Myers can't get it to go, but he's fouled behind by Plogger. He is in foul trouble. Is that his third foul, Matt? That's his third personal, but... Honestly, when you're a coach, you get to the second half with just two fouls. You feel like you kind of reset, so three's not a big deal. And you're down by ten points to start out this third quarter, so you need some scores in the ball game to try to chip away at that lead. Myers' first free throw is up and no good. He's making a living at the line tonight. And it was seven of eight. He hit seven in a row until that miss. 7.25 left in the third quarter of play. A ten-point lead for Gregsville Perry here in the semifinals at the Spartan Classic. He connects on the second free throw, extends the lead to 11. Masters will cross half court on the right wing. He looks to drive. He'll pull it back to the free throw line and set up the offense. Taking his time. Coffee coming off the screen. They can't get him the ball. Pass right wing to Jennings. to look for the post up down low to Plogger. Can't get that. Coffee open. Dishes in the corner. Jump shot. Masters, he got it. That time he was square. He could see his shoulders squared to the basket. He's got 12. He's got a pretty jump shot when he gets it going. Seven minutes left in the third quarter. Nine-point lead for Griggsville Perry. Right wing. It's Caleb Bradshaw. He passes to Hayden Bradshaw. Looks to drive. Back up top to Caleb Bradshaw. Top of the key to Whitaker. Now King's got it. Back to Whitaker in the corner. Quick ball movement right now from Griggsville Perry. Bad pass down low. It was directed down low to King, but King 
wasn't even close to the basketball. Yeah, Greenfield in that post on that left block, they had a man fronting the post, which means in front of the post player, but then they also had a man weak side, really nowhere to throw the ball except out of bounds. Ninth turnover against Griggsville Perry. Greenfield slowly but surely chipping away at that lead. Bounce pass down low. Plogger, turn, pass over to Jennings. He'll get it right back over in the corner. Now back up top. Three-pointer. Coffee off the front of the rim. No good. Another rebound by Myers. He looks to throw it deep. It's tipped by Coffee. Turnover yet again. Driving his master. He's going to go all the way down the lane. Quick pass down low. Up with the layup. McWhorter can't hit it again. Knocks it out of bounds. It's going to be Griggsville Perry ball. Yeah, McWhorter was anticipating contact on that layup. He did not get it. Threw him off a bit, but that was a good decision by Masters. McWhorter, again, mad at himself. He's got to finish that. Very unselfish play there by Masters. Six minutes left in the third quarter. Blowing past the double team is Whitaker. He'll kick it in the corner. Open Hayden Bradshaw. Instead, he'll pass it off. Head fake. King drives from the baseline. Ten foot. No good. It's an air ball. That's rebounded. Down low by McWhorter. Driving his masters. He looks at a jumper. Tough shot off the side of the rim. No good. Long rebound. It's on the ground, and Plogger comes up with it. He'll dribble it out of pressure, and he knocked it out of bounds. A lot of contact under the rim there. They'll call it out of bounds on Greenfield. Not sure if Plogger really ever had control of that basketball, but if he did, that'll be the 10th turnover against Greenfield. Offense has slowed down a little bit here in the past couple minutes. Whitaker at the point. Picks up his dribble, pass right wing, gets it to King, up of the layup. Hayden Bradshaw can't hit it. Gets his own rebound, a foul. A reach in on the ground. We'll see who they tag that on. And we'll call it on Masters. His second, second team foul against Greenfield. Hayden Bradshaw dribbles into the post, and he'll kick it back up top. Into the post now. Nice pass to Myers. He gets the nifty layup. A beautiful spin move to open himself up. And the lead now, 41-30 to for Greensville Perry. Deep pass, they go to McWhorter, right back to Masters. He looks to drive. No look pass down low to Jennings. Hits off his knee. Ball is loose on the ground. Grateful Perry comes up with it. Stolen away by McWhorter. He goes up with a layup, and it's good. That's back-to-back turnovers both ways. Each team has 11 apiece. McWhorter now with three in the game. Back to a nine-point lead for Grigsville Perry. Driving is Whitaker. Tough fadeaway shot, and he got it to go off the glass. Wow, what a move. 4.30 4.30 left in the third quarter. 43-32 to 32 is the lead for Greensville Perry. Top of the key with Coffee. He'll go corner. Deep jumper for Masters. He got it. And he's starting to get that jump shot going, Matt. Yeah, what a good shooter does. He was settling for three-pointers. Now he's just starting to take a step in, and that mid-range game is very effective. Caleb Bradshaw looking to drive. Tough layup up. No good. Rebound by King, and he puts it back in. Another offensive rebound cashed in for a bucket. Timeout taken by Grigsville Perry. They want a 30-second break. We'll take one as well. They've got the lead 45-34 to over Greenfield with 4.05 left in the third quarter. 4.05 left here in the third quarter. 45-34 Grigsville Perry. Offensive rebounding has been a killer here in this one for Greenfield. Grigsville Perry doing a good job of attacking the glass. Grigsville Perry with two players in double figures. King with 13 and Myers with 10. Greenfield's got the basketball. Four minutes left in the third quarter. This is semifinal action. Driving is Plogger, and he gets an nifty layer to go. Yeah, you got to stop the ball. Griggsville Perry never stopped ball. That's six now for Plogger. Driving is Myers. So dish weak side to Bradshaw, and it's a travel by Riley Bradshaw. Well, they only had seven turnovers in the first half to Griggsville Perry. That's now five in this quarter alone. They've just gotten a little too excited on the offensive side. If Greenfield wants to make a run in it, they need to start doing it soon. As they get it up top to Shade, he's in foul trouble with three right now. Left wing, open, Plogger, big three, he hits it. We've got a ball game. 45-39, to 39, a six-point lead for Griggsville Perry. They'll go right wing with King, pass down low. Riley Bradshaw kicks it in the corner. Slowing down that offense, King, big pass to the left. He'll go into the post, it's tipped. Now McWhorter, excuse me, Whitaker's got it. No look pass, and he gets it to King, who gets the layup to go. Good ball movement. Really, Whitaker's had a, just a fantastic game. Top of the key, Plogger wants another three. No good off the front of the limb. Wrong rebound, and it's Plogger coming up with it. He looks to drive. No look pass, down low. Shade up with the layup, is foul from behind, and he will go to the line for two. Good decision there by Plogger. Shade, that's the way you're taught. Go up there and initiate the contact sometimes if you have to, have to and Grigsville Perry 
whacked him across the arm. But to get back to your point, King has 15 points. King, that last play was just so fundamental. He went right to the basket. They fed him. He got a layup. That foul was tagged on King. Shade's free throw is no good. Coming into the ball game will be Hayden Bradshaw. He comes in for King, who is in foul trouble. You know, Grigsville Perry doing a great job off the ball movement so far in this fifth game to get open for open passes. Second free throw is up off the side of the rim. No good. Another rebound by Myers for Grigsville Perry. The big boys down low for Grigsville Perry have had a heck of a ball game tonight. In the corner to Riley Bradshaw. He'll go down low. Myers, tough layup up. Can't get it to go off the side of the rim. Tips it from behind. Almost came up with a steal. Instead, they'll call him for a reach in. It was Flogger coming up with a loose ball. Flogger, that's his sixth rebound. That's the third foul now against Myers. Second team foul. So you talked about the big boys, Myers and King, both with three fouls apiece. That time, Myers had the ball, lost it and then reached in and got the foul. He'll take Myers out to Hart will come into the game, so this is a much smaller lineup right now for Grigsville Perry. We'll see how they play. Shade's got it at the free throw line. He'll pass down low. Nice move from Masters, oh. and they're going to call with the offensive foul. Wow, that is a tough call. Masters not big. He's 5'10". They called him with the hook, and Coach Pembroke wants to have a word with the official. That's the third foul against Masters. Wow, that's a tough call. Masters has picked up two quick fouls in about a minute. 2.30 left in the third quarter, 47-39, to 39, the lead for Grigsville Perry over Greenfield. Hayden Bradshaw having a tough time getting it across half court. He will to Whitaker. Back over to Hayden Bradshaw, looks to drive right wing, backs in, head fake, up with a layup, got it to go. No, they're going to call that a travel. That's a good call by the official. He just happened to shift his feet when he got off balance. They were trying to attack Masters, which is a good idea with those three fouls. He just got a little off balance. Turnover number 13. Jennings will come out for Greenfield. McWhorter coming back in. So you've got your starting lineup now for Greenfield in the ballgame. 2.15 left, and it's a fast break. Three on two. Plogger, no look pass. Down low. McWhorter gets the layup. A six-point game yet again. Grigsville Perry still with the lead. It's Whitaker driving across that court. He'll go all the way to the lane up with a tough layup. Can't get it to go. Big opportunity for Greenfield. Masters driving. Tough layup. Up with a shot. Oh, that's a tough call, too. Wow. Number four of the ball game for Masters. And that was just a smart play from Grigsville Perry, in my mind. You take the charge in that situation, hope for the best, you get a charging call. Could have gone either way. Yeah, I thought that was honestly a block. He tried to avoid the contact. The, the player, I felt, slid over a little bit, but the official did not think so. So that is the 13th turnover. Masters got to take a seat with four. Cross will check into the game, and a three-pointer. No, they're going to call it a two. Foot was on the line for Riley Bradshaw. So Plogger will take over as the point. It'll be a check foul, the reach-in. That's going to be called on Kayla Bradshaw. Seems like every time Greenfield makes a run, Grigsville Perry is there to answer right back with another bucket. Grigsville Perry just so balanced offensively. You mentioned King with 15, Myers with 10, Whitaker with 9, Caleb Bradshaw with 8. It just has really spread the wealth. Miller will come in for Caleb Bradshaw, who just picked up his third foul of the ballgame. Plogger looking to drive, and another reach-in foul. They will call that one on Miller. And I know it's... People at home are thinking, man, that's a lot of fouls. Get used to this. This is what it's going to be like all year. The new rules, until the players adjust, the officials are going to keep blowing their whistle. One thirty left in the third quarter, an eight-point lead for Grigsville Perry. Tough shot up for Plogger, and he's fouled on the shot. They're going to call that on Miller again. Soon as they see you make contact with the arm, if they see that open palm, they're going to blow the whistle, and Miller... Back-to-back fouls. That's his second personal in the fifth team foul. Well, Miller got a tough assignment coming off the bench. He's played probably, what, a minute in the ball game, And he has to guard the explosive Plogger. Plogger's just taking that advantage, and he's just driving right to the lane every time. Free throw up, and it is no good from Plogger. He's two for three now from the line. Couple subs coming in the ball game. They will bring in Myers, and they will bring in King, the two big boys. So they get some height back for Grigsville Perry. Well, if Greenfield scores a few buckets here to end the quarter, we'll have a single-digit ball game. It's no good. It's rebounded by Myers. Two missed free throws by Greenfield. King having some trouble getting it across half court. They'll get it to the point guard, Whitaker. He'll go left wing. Myers looking to drive. Now we'll pull it back to the three-point line. And Grigsville Perry will set up their offense. 
Driving right side for Whitaker. He passes left wing. King will drive. Kicks it in the corner. Open three on a head fake. They'll pass it up top. Ball tipped around. King passes it. The ball tipped again. It will go out of bounds. And it will stay Grigsville Perry ball. It really, I've been saying it a lot, have not seen much dribble penetration tonight from Grigsville Perry. Just passing the ball around the three-point line, waiting for that open three or a good look down low on a layup. Left wing with Riley Bradshaw. They'll go right wing with Hayden Bradshaw in the corner. Driving Myers. Kick into the corner. Wide open. Three. Myers. No good. It is rebounded by McWhorter. And we got over the back call. That's going to be on Hayden Bradshaw. That's his third. Sixth team foul. That's a good kick, though. King got an outstanding look. A kid who's already knocked down two threes in this one. That was a good dribble penetration kick outside. He missed it. And a good rebound there by McCorder. King and Myers both come out for Graysville Perry. Miller and DeHart come in for them. 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Plogger's got it. They'll double team in. Passes up top to McWhorter. Right back to Plogger. He's looking to run. On to the three-point line. Setting up the offense. Gets a screen. The roll from Shade. They get in the basketball. It's swatted from behind by Riley Bradshaw. But right there to pick up the loose ball is Crotts, and he gets the layup to go weak side. 49-43 your score. Six-point lead for Grigsville Perry. 20 seconds left. A three-pointer up for Miller, and he connects. Huge three, 52-43. 12 seconds left. Last possession of the third quarter. Driving is Plogger. He's doubled, and another reach-in call. That's one and one. You can see it up here. Soon as the official sees the palm, and I'm going to be saying this all year, it's an automatic whistle this year. That's the 17 foul, one and one situation coming. You can see Whitaker upset with that, but that's his first personal. All the coaches know, all the officials know, all the fans know. They're doing it at every level. They're just trying to take away all the contact that we've seen over the past few years. King, Myers, and Caleb Bradshaw all come back into the ball game for Grigsville Perry. They want one more offensive play. Bring it back in, three starters. Free throw up on the one and one. It is good for Plogger. He's in double figures now with 10, Ryan. With Masters on the bench with foul trouble, he has been much more aggressive in his scoring. Second one is up and good. 52-45. Five seconds left. Driving is Caleb Bradshaw going all the way to the paint. Up with the layup. That's no good. McCorder with the board, and we will end a very exciting third quarter. 52-45. The lead is for Grigsville Perry over Greenfield. We go to the fourth throw line. Myers and Whitaker both come into the ballgame for Grigsville Perry. Cross coming in the ballgame for, it looks like, Plogger. And that's just a simple case of you don't want him to pick up another foul at the end of the second quarter. He already has two. Free throw up, and that one's good. So Greenfield hitting their free throws. Coming out of the ball game, they'll take McWhorter out. He also has two fouls. So Bishop and Jennings coming in the ball game for Greenfield for what should be the final possession of the second quarter. 38 to 28, your score. Griesville Perry, 10 point lead. Whitaker drives the lane, loses it, throws up a wild shot, no good. Coffee comes up with the board, and that is how we end the first half. Your score. 38 to 28, Griggsville Perry with a 10 point lead. We'll take a two minute break. Matt Norville will come back. As we end the first quarter, they are leading over Greenfield. We'll come back with the second quarter, and Matt will have first quarter stats after this break. After three quarters, 52-45, Grigsville Perry leads by seven. They led by ten at the half. 45% shooting for Grigsville Perry, 40% for Greenfield. The story is Masters has four fouls. He'll start the fourth quarter on the bench. Plogger, quick jumper, no good off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Whitaker. The rebounding tonight has been huge for Grigsville Perry. Yeah, they did what you knew they would when they came in. They just, it's one and done for Greenfield here in the second half. Right wing, open three. Caleb Bradshaw, you got it again. I'll tell you, you got to get a hand in these shooters' faces. They are making a killing from beyond the arc. Well, they have many guys that can shoot the three. That's now the fourth different player who's knocked down a three tonight. Make that the fifth different player that's knocked down a three. Bad pass down low. Goes to the hands of McWhorter. Some indecision from the referees. Oh. And they will call it Grigsville Perry ball. And uh, Coach Joe Pembroke thinks it's the other way around. Yeah, it looked like it was actually tipped by Grigsville Perry, but the officials looked at it. One of them said he had a better view and said it wasn't, so a turnover. Number 14 against Greenfield. 55-45, a 10-point lead for Grigsville Perry. 
Dangerous pass left wing. They get it to King. Up with the layup and good. That's Riley Bradshaw. He's got a chance for a three-point play. That's his fourth point. And they call that against Pogger. Now Pogger has four fouls. And that's the fifth team foul against Greenfield. Greenfield in a world of hurt right now. Yeah, you have your, your two big scorers, Plogger and Masters, both in foul trouble. How about this call from Joe Pembroke? He's bringing back in his leading scorer, uh, Masters. You have with, to. You have to. Well, with a, with a deficit being at 12 points, you need some offense. He's just got to be careful. If he picks up one more foul, he's done for the game. Free throw up on the three-point play is no good. Rebounded by Shade. Masters will go right back up to point guard. And they'll set up their offense with seven minutes left in the fourth. Right wing to Coffey. They'll take a couple dribbles. Swings it left wing to Plogger. Plogger looking to drive to the free throw line. Head fake. Picks up his dribble. Back over to Coffey. He'll fire a three. Big shot. Got it. He was standing there for days asking for the ball. Coffey, that's his fourth three. He's got 14. Yeah, you got to look for him around the perimeter. He's been an assassin. Right wing now driving the lane. Losing it is Whitaker. He gets it back in the post. Puts up a tough shot. In and out. Rolls around the rim. Rebound by Plogger. He looks to run. Single digit ball game, left wing, Coffee wants another one off the front of the rim. No good. Tipped around, rebounded by Masters. They set back up the offense. 6.15 left in the fourth. 57 48 is the lead for Greenville Perry. Jumper good by McWhorter. He's been quiet, but he's starting to heat up a little bit. He's got seven now. That's a good shot right at the foul line. Easy jump shot for a post player. Momentum is on Greenfield's side. Greenville Perry. Leading by seven, but Greenfield starting to get the momentum here in the fourth quarter. Hayden Bradshaw comes in the ball game. Riley Bradshaw takes a seat on the bench. Momentum is on Greenfield's side right now. They've lowered it to seven points, but Greenfield's kind of been around this area for about two quarters now. They get within six or seven, and then Greenfield Perry answers right back and pushes it to 10 or 11. Coffee's having shoe problems. If you're wondering about shoes, Michael Jordan's flu game shoes, I think, sold for $140,000 be nice to have those right I now. I can't afford that. $140,000 for a for pair of shoes that he wore in game five against the Utah Jazz. That was a good game. It was a solid game. Now Coffee ties his, up his shoes. He doesn't have Jordans on. He's got Nikes though. Here we <laughs> go. 5.57 left in the fourth quarter. This thing is getting very interesting. 57-50 to 50 is the lead for Grigsville Perry. Left wing to McWhorter, throwing up top, deep three, Masters, he got it, and the crowd is on their feet. Timeout taken by Greenfield. They're only down four, 57 to 53. We'll take a 30-second break. This is a good ball game. We'll come back in 30 seconds. 5.45 left here in the fourth quarter. Greenfield on an 8 to nothing run, 57-53. Griggsville Perry's lead was once 12. It's now down to 4. Masters leads the way with 17 points. He's knocked down three threes, and he has 5 points here, or 7 points make it here in the second half. Whitaker takes it across half court, gets the free throw, and they'll call him for an offensive foul again. When you're driving in... When you extend that forearm, they're going to call an offensive foul on that, and we've seen that two possessions in a row. That's the third foul. He's extending that off arm. Some officials will let it slide. Some will call it, but as much as he's extending it, you have to call it. And you know, Whitaker's actually had a really good game at the point guard spot, too. Left wing to McWhorter. He'll pass up top through the hands of Masters, and it's stolen away. Turnover. Nice pass down low, but it's just over the hands of Caleb Bradshaw. He shoots it off the bottom of the backboard. Foul on the ground. Looks like yep. they're going to tag that one on Shade. That's his fourth. No shots, though. That's the 16 foul. Yeah, getting a little ahead of himself. Caleb Bradshaw just shot it and hit the underside of the, ba- and of he the was, backboard. He was wide open. Nobody around him. Inbounded by Whitaker. Where is he going to go? Running out of time. Bounce pass. Top of the key to King. Open. Three. Can't hit it. Rebounded by Shade. Four players on the court for Greenfield with four fouls right now. 5.05 left in the fourth. They'll go down low to McWhorter, back up top. Masters thought about the three. They get it to Plogger. He wants a three. No good. Rebound by Shade. He'll go up with the layup. Can't get it to go. Weak side board. That's Masters, and he puts it in. And this is the closest this ball game's been since the first quarter, 57-55. to 55. Quick drive Offensive. and a foul. That's Hayden Bradshaw getting tagged. 
A charge taken by Greenfield. The momentum completely in Greenfield's side right now, Matt. Aiden Bradshaw, you just got to come up to a jump stop on a pull-up jumper off the block. You can't take that one all the way to the basket. That's his fourth foul. He's going to take a seat. What a call by Coach Joe Primbook of Greenfield, bringing in three players with four fouls. A reach in. And that's going to be on Caleb Bradshaw right off the bat. Coach Todd Bradshaw, he's not happy right now. Yeah, he's hot. He thought Plogger got away with an off-arm shove, and the official just warned him and told him to stay in his coach's box, which is another new rule. So now Plogger at the line for two as it's double bonus. Free throw up, and it's no good. It's double bonus, and the players didn't know that. Well, had a chance to tie the game if he hit both free throws. Instead, now has a chance to make it a one-point game with a free throw. 57-55 to 55 is your score. 4.46 left in the fourth quarter. Free throw's good. One-point ball game. Greenfield caught fire here in the second half. So Whitaker takes it across half court. They'll bring in the double team on him. Now they'll back that off. It's an 11-0 run by Greenfield. Greenfield Perry has not scored in a while, and Man. we get a hand check. That will be on McWhorter. That's just three on McWhorter, but that is the seventh foul, and you put King, who's a good free throw shooter, at the foul line, although tonight he's one of two. Really, everybody shot pretty well from the free throw line for Greensville Perry. Yeah, they're doing what they need to to win this game. Rebounding, knocking down threes, and knocking down free throws. Myers has been the one who's knocked down the most free throws, as he is 8 of 10. He's got King 1 of 2, and Bradshaw Riley, that is, is 0 of 1. Caleb Bradshaw takes a seat on the bench. DeHart comes into the ball game. Free throw up from King. He got it. He's got a nice game, this King. He's got 16 points to go along with 5 rebounds here in this one combination of uh, the big boys down low for Graceville Perry tonight. They've been huge. That's been really the difference. King and Myers. Second free throw. He got it. Clutch free throws. Pushes it to a three-point lead for Graceville Perry. 4.30 left in the fourth quarter. What a game we have. Semi-final action. Winner moves on tomorrow to face North Green. Top of the key, three-pointer for the tie. Coffee, he banks it in. Wow, Coffee, that's his fifth three. He's got 17, the most he's scored this season. What a game, and we are tied. Left wing, Riley Bradshaw trying to drive, and an offensive Ooh, foul. I don't know about that. I thought that was that would have been a better no call, and as Bradshaw's up, he is not happy about that one, and I think he's got a right to be unhappy. I thought that was good defense by Masters, and I thought that was a good job there of Riley Bradshaw not using the off arm. That's his first personal. I think we've seen just about every kind of physical emotion from Todd Bradshaw tonight, whether it's happy, sad, frustrated, mad. He's been showing them all. Tie ball game with four minutes left. Top of the key with Shade. He'll go into the post. Masters of the one-on-one. -on -one. Spins but travels at the turnover. Grigsville Perry ball. There's almost a whistle every time down the floor now. 15th turnover against Greenfield, second here in the fourth quarter. A Whitaker will take it. Greenfield is going man-to-man -man right now. It's a risky move considering you get a couple players with four fouls right now. Driving is Riley Bradshaw. He'll pass right wing. They'll call kickball on Greenfield. It'll say Grigsville Perry ball. And the way the whistles are going this year, not just in this game, but this year, if you're Masters or you're Plogger or anybody on the floor with four fouls, as soon as the player catches the ball, you can't make any contact. You almost just need to give them some airspace. Otherwise, Aiden, you could pick up your fifth foul. Hayden Bradshaw checks in the ball game, driving. Myers, tough lay-in, and he can't get it to go in and out. Ball is loose, and it's Masters coming up with it. Two on two break. He no-look passes down low for the lead. No good to lay up, but fouled. That's McWhorter. He will go to the free throw line. That's the fourth foul, by the way, against Myers. Two shots for McWhorter, one of two from the line. For the lead, no good off the front of the rim. McWhorter, that's another play, I think, as, as he develops and the season goes on. That's got to be an and one. you got to muscle that one up, get fouled, knock down the layup. Instead, he's trying to make one of two free throws here. Caleb Bradshaw comes to the ball game for Griswold Perry. McWhorter, six foot two senior, averages just under 12 points a game. Second free throw up, and no good. Can't cash in on either. We stay tied. 3.30 left in the fourth quarter. Taking it across half court is Whitaker. Setting up the play. Driving to the free throw line is the heart. He'll kick it back up top. Spin move, top of the key. Caleb Bradshaw gets into the paint, and oh, it's wow. going to be a foul. 
That's on Greenfield. That's, that's Fogger, and he's done. He's out of the ball game. But what a ball game he had. They called the foul on Pogger, his fifth foul. He's going to foul out with 12 points, but he did an excellent job on the glass with seven rebounds, and Crotts will now check in for him, and that'll put Caleb Bradshaw at the line for, for the one and one And he really carried the scoring load when, uh, when Masters came out of the ballgame. A one and one line for Bradshaw. Caleb Bradshaw suits it up and gets the friendly roll up the front of the rim, and it goes down. So Grigsville Perry takes the lead right back. Once again, the winner of this ball game. We'll go on to face North Green tomorrow in the championship game. Free throw is good on the second one. Well, Grigsville Perry's done an excellent job from the line tonight. They've only missed four free throws, and they've attempted about 18. Two-point lead for Grigsville Perry. Double teaming on Masters. He blows by both of them. Hesitation move. He's doubled again. He's having to dribble around. They stick Riley Bradshaw on him. Right wing to Crotts. Top of the key with McWhorter. Lob down low. Shade gets a hand on it. Tip from behind, and he travels. The 16th turnover against Greenfield. That was a good help defense underneath by Griggsville Perry. They quickly fronted the post. Greenfield tried to go high, low inside, and Griggsville Perry with that weak side help kind of got Shade a little off balance for a turnover. Caleb Bradshaw and Myers coming back in the ball game. You're seeing these players come in a lot on the offensive side for Griggsville Perry. They don't want them to pick up fouls on the defensive side. Ooh. Under three minutes left in the fourth quarter, into the corner, King, head fake, drives, gets to the free throw line, spins, and he walks. Yeah, King had nowhere to go. He tried to force the action, and because of that, he gets a turnover, 18th against Griggsville Perry. Good defense underneath by McCorder, just cutting him off. He tried to go middle, then spun baseline, and McCorder was there moving his feet. DeHart and Riley Bradshaw both come back in for Griggsville Perry. Masters has it, top of the key. He'll go across half court. Let's buy a few players. Jump shot, and it's good for the tie. Masters is tough. He's got 21 tonight. 61 to 61, 230 left. What a game this has been. This is probably the game of the tournament so far. Left wing to DeHart. He gets a screen, drives to the free throw line, kicks it back up top to Whitaker. Whitaker's been quiet here in the second half. He had a huge second quarter from the three-point line. Into the corner, open, King, big shot. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Coffey. Chance to take a lead with a bucket here. 2.05 left. He's double teamed into the corner. Coffee quickly looks down low. Spin move. McWhorter for the lead. No good off the back of the rim. But it tips out of bounds. Two players for Greenfield Perry had an easy rebound. Both of them tipped it out of bounds. It'll say Greenfield basketball. And coaches always talk about communication. That's not just on screens. That's not just on plays. But it's on rebounding as well. When you got it in your teammates, one of you has got to say mine. Myers comes in on the bench now at DeHart. Cross to inbound. Into the corner. Coffee quickly looks down a little McWhorter. He's got to get rid of it. Double teamed. Deep three for the lead. Masters off the front of the rim. Long rebound. McWhorter's got a hand on it. Saves it, but passes it right to Grigsville Perry and Myers. 1.45 left in the fourth quarter. Still tied 61-61. to Top of the key with Whitaker. He'll go into the post. Backing in. Myers. Tough shot off the glass. Got it to go. Good decision by Myers. Go right to the right block. You got the mismatch. He's got 12. Masters driving across that court. He'll get to the free throw line. Jump stop. Hook shot. No good. Rebounded by Whitaker. 120 left in the fourth quarter. Two-point lead for Grigsville Perry. Bad pass down low. It was overthrown. Tried to get it to Myers. Another turnover. And Ryan, Coach Bradshaw yelling, you don't need it. You don't need that. Greenfield with a minute 20 left. You're in the bonus. They're going to foul you. You can spread it. You don't need to force the issue. And that's the 19th turnover. Now Greenfield gets the ball down too. Cross the pass it in. He'll get it to Coffey. Back over to Masters. Playing with four fouls. They'll double team him. Get it over to Cross. They'll take a couple dribbles. He picks it up before half court. And a timeout taken by Coach Pembroke of Greenfield. We'll take a 30-second break, too. Don't go anywhere. This game coming down to the wire. 106 left in the fourth quarter. 63-61 to 61 is the lead for Grigsville Perry. I'm Matt Normal. Ryan Turk alongside North Green. Semi-final number two. The winner plays tomorrow night in the championship against the number one seed, North Green, and it's a good one. Grigsville Perry leading by two, 63-61 with a minute six remaining. It'll be Greenfield basketball in the front court. 
Masters has had a big game. He's got 21, 11 of which he scored in the second half. King for Grigsville Perry leads the way with 17 points. This has been a fun one to watch. Ploggers fouled out for Greenfield. Other than that, got a bunch of players with four fouls. 105 left now in the fourth quarter. Huge possession for Greenfield. They're going to double team Masters. They don't want him to drive. They'll throw a coffee in the corner. Head fake. Drives and oh, it's going to wow. be a foul. That one is going to be tagged on Myers. And, My- and Myers that time. <laughs> but Myers didn't use the hand check at all. I, that's one of those. He just cut off the baseline, and the official said he got him with the body, I guess, because he did not have his hands touching the player at all. And Myers now will foul out. He had an outstanding game, 12 points to go along with 10 rebounds. He turned in a double-double. Couldn't agree with you more, Matt. Uh, it looked like he just beat him to the spot. That's what's going to happen this year, though. They're gonna, everything's going to be called so tight, it's going to get back to you've got to have some space. You're almost going to have to coach leaving some air in between. Huge free throws coming in. Coffee hits the first. He's got one more. If he hits it, we've got another tie ball game. Bishop comes in for Crotch. Also coming in is Hayden Bradshaw for Grigsville Perry, taking a seat. Will be to Hart. Timeout taken by Grigsville Perry. Looks like Coach Bradshaw trying to ice Greenfield. We'll see what happens. Another 30 second break. 63 to 62 is the lead in the closing seconds for Greenville Perry. Back here, Coffee will have one more free throw to tie this one up with 38 seconds left here in the fourth. 63 62. Griggsville Perry leads by one. Coffee, I know it's only the fourth game of the season, but he has 18 tonight. His previous high on the season was Bunker Hill when he had 11. He had 10 against P Hill the first game of the tournament. Greenfield down by one. They haven't led since the early stages of the first quarter when they led 8-3. to three. Both teams have already lost a player. Plogger fouled out early in the fourth, and Myers fouled out about 20 seconds ago. So each team has two players fouled out and a bunch with four. Massive free throw coming in for the tie. It's good. Well, if you like basketball games in high school that come down to the wire, you pick the right night to listen to 107.1, the Eagle, 63-63. 30 seconds left in this ball game. Grigsville Perry, will they hold it for the final shot? You got to think so, Matt. Oh, definitely. You, you want this to be the last shot taken. You might even shoot it with about five seconds if you want the offensive rebound. But personally, I just wait all the way down. And you want King to touch this basketball if you're Grigsville Perry. Whitaker passes right wing. They get it to Riley Bradshaw. Back up top to King. Here we go. This is what you want. Eight seconds left. He's going to drive to the three-point line. Spin. Nowhere to go. It's Hayden oh, Bradshaw. He doubled. Double he doubled. There's 2.1 seconds left. Wow. He will keep it right here, but that is a double dribble. King was doubled, so he kicked it out to Hayden Bradshaw, who actually had an open three, took a dribble, and he could have still pulled it and then he wanted to pass it, and then at the last second decided not to and brought that left hand on the ball. Turnover number 20 against Grigsville Perry. They had seven at the half, 13 here in the second half, and now Greenfield will have to go three-quarters court with 2.1 seconds left. They're going to want to get it to Masters. Grigsville Perry will be an interesting decision. You're obviously not going to cover the ball probably because you're going to want to double-team Masters, but Coffee's the second option. But you can also lob it right about the free throw line extended to McHorter. He's got some long arms and he's got a little bit of size. He catches it. You've seen the Christian Leitner play. You've got enough time to do a head fake and a dribble and get a shot up. Well, Grigsville Perry, the past couple quarters, has been doubling Masters any chance they get. So he's the one guy they don't want to touch the ball. you got to think Coffee. He's got the hot hand this game. Uh, 18 in the ball game. Could and, it be? And if you're Greenfield, you do not want, if you're going to turn the ball over, you want it turned over in the front court, preferably in the paint. You do not want a turnover in the back court where Griggsville Perry can get up a layup to win this one. You want, if it's going to be a turnover, you're getting beat by a three quarter court shot and nothing else. Oh boy, here we go. 2.1 seconds left. 63 to 63 is your score. Winner moves on to the first place game. Cross to inbound. Still waiting to inbound. They got to get it in. Timeout taken by Coach Primbook. We'll keep it here yet again. Didn't want to get that five second call. Yeah, Cross is inbounding it. Usually they say you put the smartest player you've got inbounding the basketball. Griggsville Perry actually did have someone on the ball. They were conceding the pass backwards. They were not going to let you pass anything forwards. They tried to send Masters along the sideline. He was not open. And Cross, instead of just firing it, decided they'll just burn another timeout and set up another play. 
you might what you want to do is you might get Masters running towards the hoop, but he's going to have to catch it. Best case scenario, if Masters catches it in the backcourt, is probably a heave from half court, unless you want to lob it to McHorter at the foul line and just tell McHorter to go up and grab the basketball. But the way they're lined up, all they have back is coffee at the foul line. Everybody else is at half court. We'll try it again. Round two, 2.1 seconds left. Cross the pass in. He gets it to Mass. Air ball, no good. Let's go to overtime. 63 to 63 is your score. We'll take a one minute break and come back with overtime. Well, four quarters wasn't enough. 63 apiece. And we go to overtime. Greenfield now at 40% shooting for the game, 23 for 57. And Grigsville Perry now falls to 43%. They're 20 for 46. Foul trouble is going to be the story. Plogger's already fouled out for Greenfield. For Grigsville Perry, Myers has already fouled out. Masters playing with four fouls. Also playing with four is Shade for Greenfield. For Grigsville Perry, Hayden Bradshaw has four fouls. And then you have Caleb Bradshaw also with four. So here we go, overtime. Greenfield going right to left on your radio dial. Grigsville Perry going left to right. Tipped up, controlled by Grigsville Perry. A four-minute overtime. Here we go. Whitaker has it up top. Man-to-man -man defense from Greenfield. Pass down low is tipped up in the air. It'll go out of bounds. It'll stay Grigsville Perry ball. Grigsville Perry, I think you've got to get with Myers out of the game. You've got to get the ball to King. King's your best player on the floor. He's having the best night as well. You've got to get him touches. Quick pass into the post. Whitaker can't get it off oh, the backboard. King. And a push in the back. Yeah, you can see that from up here. King just two-hand pushed in the back, trying to get the rebound. Now that will be his fourth personal, and it's double bonus both ways, so Greenfield will be at the line for two free throws. Yeah, King having a massive game. 17 points, averages just about 13 a game. 17 to go along with seven rebounds, and Myers fouled out. He had a double-double, 12 and 10. Here we go. Free throws on the line for Shea. First one up. He connects. He's one of three now from the line, and for Shade, that's his first point of the game. He comes in averaging 16 a game. Second one, up. He got them both. Two-point lead for Greenfield. We haven't said that much this ballgame. 3.40 left in the overtime period. Into the corner. Head fake from Hayden Bradshaw. He traveled. He's just had a rough last couple of minutes for the youngster. That's 21 turnovers, that time indecision. Again, the head fake shuffled the feet before he put the ball down. 21 turnovers for Grigsville Perry. They've had 14 here in the second half. The Hart will come into the ball game. Indecision of who is going to catch the ball there for Greenfield. It's Masters getting it. They'll shade him with a double team right now. He'll get past it. Dribbles into the corner. Stops. Pops. No good on the deep jumper. It's rebounded by Whitaker. And here we go. Whitaker crosses half court. Dribbles top of the key. Hand off right behind him to Caleb Bradshaw, who's also had a good game. Really, everybody's had a good game for this Grigsville Perry team. Driving in the post. It's tipped. Goes into Hart in the corner. Now down low to King. They double. Fade away. Tough jumper, and he hits it. A la Dirk Nowitzki style. And we're back to a tie ball game. He's got 19. you got to feed him more. He's got the mismatch in the post. Masters has it left wing. Guarded by Riley Bradshaw. He says he wants a one-on-one. -on -one. Taking his moment, drives right down the middle of the lane, kicks it back up top to Bishop, left wing, back over to Coffey, takes a couple dribbles right over to Masters. Right now Greenfield in no rush, 2.40 left in the overtime period. 65-65 is your score. They'll set up their offense, Masters drives to the free throw line, tough shot, it's blocked away by Riley Bradshaw. Briggsville, Perry ball, right wing, Bradshaw stops and hits the three, no, it's off the front of the rim. Had a great look over there in the corner. Couldn't connect for the lead. Yeah, Grigsville Perry now sending two defenders at Masters, trying to force the ball out of his hands. Driving Masters. Tough look off the glass and got it. He's just tough. He's got 23 tonight. Driving right down to Zahard. He can't catch in the layup. Rebounded by Bradshaw. Looked like he walked, but they will call a foul. Two shots on the line. That one looks like it was on Shade. We'll see who they call it on. It was, it was Shade. And he's done. That's his fifth. So you lose some size. He didn't give up the layup. That'll bring Jennings off the bench. Good job there of Riley Bradshaw. Only his first rebound of the game, but he did a good job. You've got to assume that the person's going to miss the shot. 
He followed the missed layup, was able to get to the foul line for two. Hustle points. They've been huge tonight for Graceville Perry. Massive free throws here. Greenfield with a two-point lead. First free throw up. Rattles in and out. No good. 0 for 2 now from the line is Riley Bradshaw. He's got four points in this one. Greenfield Perry has had a couple, couple shots today. They just have gone in and out. Second one up. Back of the rim. No good. Missed them both. Wow. A rebound goes to McWhorter. They get it to Masters. Two-point lead for Greenfield. He'll pass it off to Bishop. They want to get it right back to Masters, and they do. They want to keep the ball in his hands as much as possible. This is where I might do a screen and roll. Instead, he'll drive right down the middle of the lane, try to pass it down a little bit quarter, went off his hands, quick ball moving around the horn, and three seconds in the lane. They're going to call that one on McWhorter. Wow, that was, the, that was one of those... Everybody's screaming for three, but you look down there, you had a Greenfield player trying to get out of the lane, but just because of the bobble by McHorter, good call by the official. 17 turnovers now against Greenfield. I think Masters is doing a great job setting up his teammates, but how many times has one of those passes just gone through their hands or something and haven't been able to cash in on a layup? Driving is Bradshaw, and Caleb Bradshaw cannot get the layup. Going fast now is Masters. He'll slow it down as he crosses the half-court line. Tip from behind, it'll be a foul. On DeHart, two free throws coming up for Masters. Not a bad foul, though, if you're DeHart. Masters is just going to try to dribble in circles with a minute 18 and force you to foul him. Second foul by DeHart. Masters at the line tonight is 0 of 1. Free throw up. Got the friendly roll, and it's down. Got 24. We talked about it coming in, the two good guards in this tournament, really. Connor Vincent for North Green and Masters for Greenfield, and neither one have disappointed. Second free throw up, and he got it. And, you know, Masters missed about the whole quarter between the end of the first quarter and middle of the second quarter with foul trouble. You think what could have been if he didn't go down with foul trouble early on. A four-point lead for Greenfield. Into the quarter to DeHart. Back up top. It's Hayden Bradshaw driving. Bad pass. Saved by Riley Bradshaw. Good save. And a timeout taken by Griggsville Perry. They trail by four. We'll take a 30-second break. 69-65 to 65 with 102 left in the overtime period. 69-65, Greenfield by four here in overtime. A minute two left in this one. Grigsville Perry will have the basketball. Still plenty of time for Grigsville Perry. Ryan, I like the matchup with King on the block. If they can get a good entry pass to King on the block, I like that matchup if you're Grigsville Perry. He's got 19 points, and I don't think Greenfield has anyone on the floor that can either stop him or not foul him. And that's a good matchup to go to. So I think if you're Grigsville Perry, you throw the ball in, King goes right to the block, and you try to get him the basketball. Either way, it's a two-possession game. You're going to have to foul even if you score in this possession. Well, Connor Shea, the biggest boy on the team for Greenfield, out of the game with five fouls. He's six foot three, So definitely advantage down low goes to King. Whitaker gets it up top. Right wing they go. Now back up top. The camp will pass it off right wing. Driving the lane. Caleb Bradshaw, nothing there. He'll get it over to Hayden Bradshaw. Back over to King. Drives to the free throw line. Nothing there. Deep three. Whitaker can hit it. Rebounded down low by Hayden Bradshaw. They keep the possession alive, but we have... Backcourt violation from Grayville Perry. Another turnover. Turnover number 22 in here in the second half in overtime. That's just been a killer. 15 now in second half in overtime. That was a good looking three, but not really where they wanted to go. As they had King posted up, but it was just too much congestion over there, so King had to bounce out. If you don't get the steal here, you might just have to foul down two possessions. It's Masters getting the inbound. They get it to Bishop, left wing. Will they foul him? Yes, they will. And that's a smart foul if you're Grigsville Perry. Bishop hasn't seen many minutes this ball game, so you bring in somebody who hasn't seen the floor that much. Yeah, and if you're Masters, you do not want to give up the ball there. He gave it to Bishop. As soon as you do that and you're a good free throw shooter, you run right back up and ask for it right back. But if you're Bishop, he has not attempted a shot tonight, let alone a free throw. He's got some big free throws coming up. He's got two. First one up. Can't get it to go off the front of the rim. No matter what happens, it's still going to be a two-possession game. Still plenty of time, 31.8 left. Griggsville Perry just want to score quickly. If you're Greenfield, don't foul. Do not foul the rest of this ballgame. Caleb Bradshaw comes into the ballgame. 31 seconds left in the overtime period. Up and no good off the front of the rim. Big possession for Griggsville Perry. Driving as Whitaker right wing. Deep three up for Hayden Bradshaw. Wide right off the back of the rim. No good. Rebounded by Masters. He'll give it up to Coffey. Coffey will drive. Crosses over. Looks to foul, and they will. Masters was right there asking for the ball, just like you said, Matt. 
but they don't get him the rock. 16 seconds left in the ball game, and fouling out is Caleb Bradshaw. That's his fifth in the first half. He had eight, ends up with 13 in this one to go along with four rebounds. Coffey, though, is a good free throw shooter for Greenfield. He's two of two tonight. He has 19 points in the game. He's at the line for two. DeHart and Miller both come in the ball game. Free throw up. First one's good. Five-point lead for Greenfield. Things are looking their way right now. 16 seconds. Still a lot of time left on the clock. Second one is good. Greenfield Perry needs a three. Driving across half court. It's King. He spots up. Looks to shoot. Tough look. Up and it's off the back of the rim. No good. It's rebounded by DeHart. He'll fire up a wild shot off the backboard. No good. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay. Grigsville Perry ball. Looks like McWhorter touched it last. 3.9 seconds left. This is a catch and shoot situation. Hopefully you can get a steal. Yeah, Greenfield just don't inbound the ball. Shoot. King. He hits it. 1.5 1.5 seconds left in the overtime period. 71 to 68. Now your score. We will keep it here. It's a three-point lead for Greenfield. What they need to do, get the ball in bounds. Because if they do and they catch the ball, Greenfield Perry has to foul immediately. And here's where strategy is interesting if you're Greenfield. Greenfield Perry has no timeouts left in overtime. You're not going to tell high school kids to do this. But if you cannot get the ball in bounds, you tell everybody for Greenfield to just get out of the paint. If you just throw the ball in, if you're Greenfield, into the middle of the paint and Grigsville Perry steals it and gets a layup, it doesn't matter. Clock does not stop in high school. You can't lose. What you don't want in this situation is you don't want a turnover where Grigsville Perry can shoot a three, and you do not want a five count. Anything else is fine. If you turn it over inside the three-point line, that's perfectly fine as long as you don't foul. But like I said, you're dealing with high school kids. You just, want to get the, you just want to get the ball in. You know, if I'm Greenfield, I'm putting somebody as far away from the basket as I can. I'm throwing a deep lob. Hopefully they touch it, something like that, just to get the ball as far away from the hoop as possible. I'm saying I'm, I'm throwing this ball somewhere around the basket in the backcourt. We'll see what happens. They inbound it. They get it to Coffee. He's fouled immediately. They'll put .3 seconds left on the clock. And that'll be it. You can't, you can't win with point three. All, all you can, you can only tip, tip it in. Yep, all you can do is a tip. So Coffee will take two shots from the line. Really, both te- both teams today just played a fantastic ball game. Well, Grigsville Perry shot the lights out from three in the first half. The second half, really, their demise was just turnovers. First free throw up for Coffee, no good. No timeouts for Grigsville Perry. So here we go. Coffee second free throw is up. It's good. That's a four-point ball game. Inbounded to Bradshaw. He'll fire up a three. That's no good. And that is the ball game. A Cinderella story come from behind victory for Greenfield. They trail big time in the ball game with a ton of players in foul trouble. They come away with the victory of a very good Grigsville Perry team. Greenfield moving to 4-0 on the season. Grigsville Perry with the loss. Moving to 4-1. Matt Norville has postgame stats. Yeah, and there's a lot of them to get to. We'll make it quick. Isaac Masters led the way for both teams. He ended up shooting, scoring 25 points, did Masters, along with five rebounds. Coffey had 22, the second player in double figures, and the third player was Fogger, who fouled out, seems like, a lifetime ago. Early stages of the fourth quarter, he had 12 points. You had seven for McHorter, two for Jennings, and two for Shea. Griggsville Perry, a more balanced attack, but King led the way with 22 points, an excellent performance, 22 points for King to go along with nine rebounds. Myers had 12 points to go along with 10 rebounds. He fouled out. Caleb Bradshaw ended up with 13 points to go along with his four rebounds. You had nine for Whitaker, four for Riley Bradshaw, three for Hayden Bradshaw, three for Miller, and two for DeHart. Greenfield will take on North Green tomorrow. Greenfield remains undefeated. They are now 4-0 on the season. Grigsville Perry with their first loss. They are 4-1. Greenfield trailed by as many as 13 in the first half, 12 in the second half, but they were able to win this one by a final of 72-68. to That means we'll have the third-place game for you tomorrow night here on WEAI. It'll be Route and Greensville Perry pregame at 6-15, and then the championship will be North Green and Greenfield tip-off slated for right around 8 o'clock. For Ryan Turk, I'm Matt Norville saying so.